In the throes of World War II, an unlikely hero emerged. Not a man, but a breed of dog known for its loyalty, intelligence, and courage, the Doberman Pinscher. During World War II, approximately 75% of dogs used in combat were Doberman Pinschers. These dogs performed various duties such as finding and rescuing wounded soldiers, detecting enemy locations and mines, acting as messengers, sentries, and guard dogs. The Doberman Pinscher Club of America supplied many of these war dogs. Each dog went through a rigorous course of obedience for a period of six weeks. After basic training, the dogs were divided into groups for specialized training, scout, messenger, or infantry. Scout dogs were sent first with the handler to detect mines or enemy troops. Messenger dogs would follow their handler's trail and carry correspondence or supplies. Infantry dogs alerted the troops of the enemy's presence. The dogs used signals to alert the soldiers of Japanese presence as they were trained not to bark. The dogs could detect a human scent up to one half mile away. During the war, the Japanese ambushed none of the war dog platoons. After the war, many of the dogs were retrained for civilian life and sent back to their families, while several remained with their handlers. Through the efforts of Dr. William W. Putney, a World War II veteran and member of a war dog platoon, the first war dog memorial, a life-size bronze of a Doberman Pinscher, was unveiled on the U.S. naval base on Guam during the 50th anniversary of the liberation of that island. The Doberman Pinscher, a breed that served with honor and distinction, we remember and honor their service.